expressions so in this video we are going to learn about expressions expressions are classified depending on operations performed as arithmetic expression relational expression logical expression and character expressions expression uses operators to perform operations operators are in the form of operation symbols operators operate on something called as operand for example if i write expression like this x equal to 6.7 minus 6 here this number and this number these two numbers are treated as operands and this is a operator this operator operates on these two operands result of operation is called as return value so this is an operand operand operator and the result of operation is called as return value the first type of expression is called as arithmetic expression arithmetic expression uses arithmetic operators for performing operations so these are the operators used these operators are used for performing addition subtraction multiplication division and exponentiation so this operator is used for addition and for subtraction multiplication division and exponentiation the exponentiation operator is used in this fashion so to write x to the power y we have to write x star star y in four times likewise to write p square we have to write p star star 2 to write q square we have to write q star star 2 y to the power 1 by 3 will be written as y star star 1 divided by 3 So now x to us five square. Let's try to display value of x. Save and exit. The result is twenty five, which is correct. Now let us try to understand how to write relational expressions. Relational expression uses relational operators. Less than, less than or equal to, greater than, and so on. These are relational operators. This, this is the mathematical form of relational operator, and this is the Fortran representation of relational operators. So less than is written as dot lt dot. likewise less than equal to is written as dot le dot and so on so we'll try to write a program which uses relational operators let's say x equal to 9.5 y is equal to 3. I'll store result of comparison in Z. So let us compare x with y using less than operator. So if x is less than y, the result will be true. Sorry, if x is less than y, the result will be true, and Z gets value of the result of operation that is true. but in this case we can see that x is not less than 
uh, sorry x is not less than y because x is 9.5 y is 3.2 and therefore result of this operation will be false so z gets false so if we try to display value of z result should be false The problem here we have not declared data type of z so we have to declare data type of z as logical because the result is true or false and by default z is a real variable so we have to redeclare it as logical variable logical z save execute Get false here because the result of operation is false. I can change data or I can change operation x not equal to y. Now the result of operation will be true. So z should display true. We get true as the display. Next type of expression is called as a logical expression. Logical expression uses logical operators. Logical operators combine <coughs> two operands or two expressions called as conditions. The first operator is called as AND operator. Syntax of AND operator will be operand 1, then the operator, operand 2 this operation will result in true only when both the operands are true likewise this operation performed using or operator will result in false only when both the operands are false the not operator is a logical negation operator the result of operation is true when operand is false and it is false when operand is true so let us study logical operators we know that x not equal to y is true so let us enclose this in parenthesis <coughs> let us say this is operand 1 I'll write another expression like this x less than 2. So I know that first expression is true and second expression is also true. So both are true. If I combine these using AND operator, the result of operation should be true because both the operands are true. So the result will be stored in Z and that value will be displayed here. result is false so let us check what we have written so first expression is x not equal to y which is true and second one is x less than 2 which is false actually x is 9.5 so 9.5 less than 2 is false and therefore result should have should be false I'll replace this with greater than now now 9.5 is greater than 2 and therefore this is true and this is also true. The result of operation will be true. I get true here. Here both the conditions are true. If one of the two conditions is false then result will be false. If I combine replace this using R operator in that case the result should be true because we know that our operator results in false only when both the conditions are false. So because both are true here, result should be true. If 
if I change one of the conditions to false, the still result should be true. If both the conditions are false, then only OR operator returns false. We get false here. The last type of expression is character expression. So, character operator available is concatenation operator. It is written in this form slash slash. So, this operator is used for joining two strings. Let us write a program. The program is already available. So here I have declared three variables. Fname, star 10 indicates that Fname is a character type variable capable of storing 10 characters. Lname can store 10 characters and NME can store 50 characters. So let us say Fname, sorry, this string is stored in Fname. This string is stored as value of Lname. Next statement is enemy equal to f name. So I'll remove the statement. This is not required. I want to demonstrate concatenation operator. So that will be demonstrated using this statement. So enemy equal to f name slash slash l name. Here this sorry this string will be joined to this string, and the result will be stored in enemy. You should remember this string must be capable of storing both the strings. So we can see that fname can store 10 characters, this can store <coughs> 10 characters, so this string must be greater than or long, long, longer than total 20 characters. So if I execute this program, I get this output, which is here the first string has been joined to second string. So this is the end of expressions.